Hey, Virgo, how are you doing? If you're new to the channel, what is up? My name is Leela. I reside in London, UK, and I'm also a Virgo. Shouts out to my returning subs. You know who you are. I appreciate you. Oh, Virgo. So we're going to do a general love reading, okay? Um, smash the thumbs button. Show some love. I'd really appreciate it, okay? From one Virgo to another. Show some love, baby. Let's see how you're feeling. Let's start off this reading. How's Virgo feeling? Good. Good, 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 good. This is what I like to see. And it kind of is in my vibration. Of course, not all Virgos are going to be on the same vibration. But I think a lot of you guys can relate to one another. Okay? So... We have the Queen of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the Six of Cups. Mm, I wonder why that Six of Cups is there. Six of Cups can talk about reconnecting with people from the past. Maybe an ex is going to holly you. Maybe they've done so already. Maybe friendships from the past. It also talks about your child, your inner child. What that little Virgo has always wanted. And usually it's something very driven, very ambitious. Um you know dreams aspirations that type of energy you know what did you want as a little virgo is that in place right now in your life are you where you want are you where you want to be in life right now now the queen of wands kind of signifies that a lot of you guys are starting to feel comfortable confident again in your own skin where you are at in life right now it feels very driven three of cups is a celebration of life life is to be celebrated it's also about having the right people around you OK, your circle says everything about you, Virgo. And it doesn't matter if you have one or two people in your circle. OK, because three people is a power. It's a power triangle right there. You know, it's not about having um, so many, knowing so many people, having so many people around. They're associates. They're not part of your soul tribe, your soul contract and who you're supposed to be with and who you're supposed to have around you in this life. So I feel like a lot of you guys are in good energy right now. And if you're not, this is your reminder. OK, take care of the little Virgo within you. And what is it calling for? And nine times out of ten, y'all just want to be successful. You want to make something of your life. You know, you're driven. You're continuing wanting to learn and adapt and evolve. Who's thinking about Virgo? Two of Cups. Somebody's thinking about you, baby. Who's thinking about Virgo? It could be the same zodiac sign. It doesn't have to be. Who's thinking about Virgo? We also have the High Priestess energy here as well. Whoever is thinking about you, you have been very clear with your intentions, your expectations. You've given them your truth. There is no time preference on this. Your words are very powerful, Virgo. Okay, whoever it is that's thinking about you, there's intuitively a lot of you guys can pick up exactly who this is. You feel them in your energy. For others of you guys, you know, there may not be much talking going on, if any communication at all. But there's this underlying feeling. There's this telepathic connection. Okay. It could be with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be those signs. Okay. It could be any sign. Same sign for some of you guys. But there is a romance here or there is a love connection here with regards to who's that's thinking about you. Maybe they're a bit mysterious. They don't give much away. You don't know where you stand with them and blah, 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 blah. But the Queen of Swords energy shows me that you guys can sniff bullshit a mile away. You know exactly what this person is thinking about, where they're at in their life right now. Who wants Virgo? Nine of Wands. Perhaps somebody that you feel like or you felt like giving up on. Okay, whoever it is that wants you could be very guarded in their energy, you know. Um, past connections have kind of like messed up future connections, the connection with you. We have the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. So whoever it is that wants you, there's something here to do with about forgiveness. There's something here to do with growth, opportunity, commitment. You want this person to be committed to you. To show a bit of emotion. I don't know if they're doing it. But it's like if, if like unguarded. If you can't tell me where I stand. If you can't be forthcoming with how you feel. 
I'm just going to stay guarded. This person clearly has emotion towards you. They clearly want to grow with you. But there's, there is a prevention here. There's guarded energy. Who truly loves Virgo? Again, whoever it is, they're not they're not being very forthcoming with how they feel. They're not being very expressive. There's a lot of uncertainty here. There's a lot of fear. Fear-based energy. Who truly loves Virgo? It's like it's an uncertainty. You don't know where you stand with this person. How can they love me? How can they love me, gifted, if they don't tell me that, they don't express it? For some of you guys, this is somebody that you met online. Look at the four of wands on the bottom of the deck. This is twin flame soulmate energy. There's a lot of potential in this connection, but there's also a lot of uncertainty. And I feel like a lot of you guys have let go because you weren't, you weren't given the truth. And a lot of you guys have cut this off. This was a fated connection. You guys were meant to meet. You are meant to be in each other's life for some reason. It was destined. However, things became toxic. Things changed. And I feel like a lot of you guys gave yourself a new beginning. And you're working on stabilizing your life. You're working on healing. You're working on your independence. <laughs> you're not going to be manipulated. You're too grown for that. Mm -hmm. You're too grown for that. Who's coming towards Virgos in love? We have a king of pentacles here. Someone that's business orientated. They have a managerial position. They have their own business. They're financially secure. They could be a little bit older than you. Could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Who's coming towards Virgos in love? Knight of Cups. I see dates here. I see the heart. Somebody that wears a heart on their sleeve. Somebody that likes the idea of love. Four of Cups, though, but it's like I'm bored of it now. Like, I want to say somebody keeping you at arm's length. We can be very picky, but I don't feel like you're being picky. I feel like somebody, there is somebody here, you don't know where you stand with them. They keep you at arm's length. You want to be loved and, de and devoted, doted over. You've been patient. You're done feeling left out in the cold. So a lot of you guys have turned your back on somebody here. Wow, I feel like I've uh, said a lot in this reading. I'm just yapping away. What's the hidden truth? I bury myself in work to forget you. They keep busy in order to not think about you, to keep you out of their mind. I left before you could leave me. So that's uh, that's fear of rejection. So they come up with an excuse to ghost you, to leave the situation. Maybe you were dealing with a gaslighter here, but ultimately someone that's scared of love. However, I love you, Virgo. You and I were too young. Gives me um, energy of a whirlwind romance, you know? It ended as quick as it started. We need to let each other go. But um, at least one part you haven't let the other person go. You were the best thing in my life. Well, I believe that because we really are a vibe. We really are the one that got away. Mm -hmm. We are the person that people think about the most because of the love that we radiate, you know. The timing just wasn't right for us. So... Divine timing is always on your side. You know, if it's meant to be, they will come back round. I can't stop thinking about you. Uh, I couldn't stop thinking about me either. <laughs> I lost myself for a little while. And, and you know what? I'm guilty of that. I'm guilty of loving fast and deep and giving my all and then it coming back to bite me. I love you unconditionally, which is nice to see. You know? There is an admiration here for you, Virgo. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Remember, you can book me for a personal reading. All you have to do is get in touch via email or you can direct message me on Facebook or Instagram. I'm very easy to find. The Gifted Hermit, you can find me. My email is thegiftedhermit at gmail.com. No spaces, all lowercase. 
you can follow me on Instagram, I follow back. You get a chance to see my face on Instagram, although I don't post as much as I used to. I reckon it's my uh, mid-30s. I'm growing up. That's what they say. We're growing up, eh? You can also catch me for live tarot. Just hit the bell. If you'd like to donate to the channel today, you're not obliged to do so, but I appreciate all donations. There is a PayPal link in my about section. Wherever you are in the world, Virgo, I hope you have a fabulous weekend ahead. And as I always say, from one Virgo to another, be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you and the gift will catch you on the rebound. Take care, my love. Mwah.